What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download the PC client for Dark Eden M on Wii Dark Eden M on Wii Mix. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the thumbs up button, it is greatly appreciated. This is gonna be a complete step-by-step -step guide. I'm gonna try and do this unedited. We're literally gonna go through the entire step process. This will not work on an emulator. So I've tried like LD Player, Nox Player. Um, they have like a, a block on emulators. So if you try and download and play Dark Eden M, on uh, any emulator it's pretty much just gonna open and close it's gonna just do that like continuously open and close so you have to download and play through their PC client if you want to play on your PC you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up our Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or whatever you have what is this breaking news Dow pledges a thousand points in Wall Street sell-off Wow uh, I guess I'm gonna be poor okay <laughs> what the hell all right, we're gonna go dark uh, Eden M, uh, dark nemesis. <laughs> Who's searching dark nemesis? All right, so we're gonna go here to the official website. All right, we're gonna wait for this uh, little bad boy to load up. And right here, it says PC beta version. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click this to download. Oh, we got some other pop up. We're gonna click this to download. We're gonna get this little thing that pops up. And in the download top right here, we go do, 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 do. Now, one thing that I also have to mention is uh, because this is uh, somewhat of a third party download, if you have any type of antivirus or anti spyware on your PC, it's going to immediately flag this as being unsafe and uh, just not recognizing it. So that is another thing that you could be having problems with if you're uh, trying to download this and play and you notice that like you're not able to check your your antivirus software or whatever and just allow it to run this because this is uh, because like I said, it's like a third party thing. So it just doesn't recognize it. So it gets flagged a lot. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this file. Uh, we're going to click yes and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this and we're going to go through the setup. Um, I believe I already hit OK, so that's why I didn't get the pop up. But when I first downloaded this PC client, I did get the pop up that said like, oh, are you sure you want to download this? It's very similar if you were to download an, like an APK file on your phone where it's like, oh, this is an unknown source. Do you really want to download it? So it's pretty much the same. We're going to click finish to run this. All right. Now we got this window. We can go ahead and we can kind of close out of Internet Explorer at this point. So we're on this window right now. Now this isn't the exact game. We actually have to click play and it's gonna open up another window. Another thing that I've also heard is that apparently there's problems running the PC client if you have AMD computer parts. I don't know if it was an AMD graphics card or an AMD uh, CPU. But in the Discord, I heard a lot of people saying that they couldn't get the PC client to work um, because of their AMD parts. Now I have Intel, I'm an Intel boy. I also have an Nvidia graphics card, so I don't have any problems. So unfortunately, I don't have a fix for you. Uh, I'm not the developers. I didn't make this game or this client. So again, that's just something that I I'm not gonna be able to give you any information about how to fix that. That's just something they gotta go and they gotta fix the coding or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click play and it's gonna open up this second window. Um, I'm not sure if we need to keep this window open or not. Let's close this and see. I'm going to click X. Okay, so we're fine. We can just have this one running. Um, we have to download additional data. We'll just click download. That's fine. And uh, I might fast forward through this real quick because I don't want you guys to just sit there and look at a loading screen. So I'll chop this part out real quick. All right, and we are back. The download is complete. Let's go ahead. We'll skip the story. We have to do this age verification real quick terms except the privacy policy now we need to sign in um, I don't know how it works with Apple and Twitter and Facebook I log in with Google 